Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Garcelle is reacting to Diana Jenkins' investigation findings of the bots and also Andy Cohen's apology. And I have opinions, so let's get to it. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel for the Bravo Breakdown with Jolene, your favorite source of commentary and comedy on all things Bravo television. Make sure you smash that like and if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe. Let's set a like goal for 500. I think we can do it. We have things to talk about today. This is comedy commentary and I'm very opinionated, so you're going to hear about it all. That's my opinion! As many of you might already heard, Diana Jenkins says she has identified who's behind the racist bots. According to page six, Diana Jenkins identified the cyberbully who attacked Garcelle's son on social media. So as of yesterday, they're like, we solved the case. According to page six, after reviewing data obtained under a subpoena from Meta, Jenkins' legal team is cracking down on a Northern California resident whose IP address and phone number were linked to the Instagram account at queen of the T underscore. Diana is committed to seeing this through and unmasking whoever is responsible and all parties who were involved, a source close to Jenkins tells Page Six exclusively. She also wants to make sure that she shares with the public all the progress that is being made in this case every step of the way. At Queen of the T underscore was among the many accounts that Jax revealed had sent him racially offensive messages in August. As most of you probably remember from Instagram itself or hearing about on the reunion, Jax shared this information in his Instagram stories and none of the women understood why it was important for them to stand behind Jax and Garcelle rather than worrying about Diana's name being in it and asking a 14 year old who was being racially attacked to remove the post, take out Diana's name and then repost it nicely to make Diana's life easier. A lot of them at the time and probably still now didn't understand why that was so problematic and the wrong take to have. Now with a potential suspect behind the abhorrent message, Jenkins attorneys are pursuing additional subpoenas in hopes of producing more evidence linking the individual behind at queen of the T underscore to the wider attack on Garcelle's son. Some of the records obtained from Meta were connected to overseas IP addresses. However, the at queen of the T underscore account was linked to an IP address and phone number in California. Jenkins lawyers have been instructed by the Bosnian refugee turned philanthropist. I don't know why we gotta add that. That's weird. That's suspicious. To pursue additional subpoenas to confirm the individual who is paying for the internet and phone service tied to at Queen of the T underscore. Our sources say Jenkins and her legal team have the full name, address, and phone number of the individual, but are unable to share it at this time. So this is all according to page six. We found this out yesterday, and today Garcelle was asked what she thought about all this information. Identifying of who finally was behind the, the bots. Bots. Can we talk about that? Um, there's nothing to say, honestly, because uh, I'm doing my own investigation, so I'm waiting for mine. Okay. That's all that matters. So basically, what Garcelle is saying to Diana Jenkins and her investigation is, I have a little more credibility than you. In this interview with E! News, she was then asked about Andy Cohen's apology he gave recently on his Sirius Satellite Radio Andy talk show after doing a horrible job, in my opinion, moderating the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion. I really need to sincerely apologize, not only for diverting the topic, but for not returning even worse to the serious conversation that was at hand. I have deep admiration for Garcelle. Uh, she and I had a really good, productive conversation last Thursday, and I should have been more in tune with her feelings. Um, so I just wanted to say that because I've been logging in and I get it. Now, I don't know if Andy Cohen actually gets it yet, okay? I think this has more to do with what he said. He's been logging in and he's been seeing everyone's response to how poorly he moderated this reunion and how he had total blindness to the insensitivity being thrown at Garcelle and also the microaggressions. And Andy Cohen has made a lot of money off black women in the Real Housewives franchise. I've talked about this on my live streams and on my Beverly Hills recaps. It's very frustrating that he doesn't know the basics of being an ally and how to properly moderate and educate 
not only maybe the audience, uh, which is a predominantly white audience, but also these white housewives and their own microaggressions. It's the least Andy can do after everything women of color have given to Bravo television. And I believe Andy Cohen also owes it to his audience. He owes it to the black women and the women of color who watch Bravo television, who are there every week watching these shows and getting triggered because he hasn't done the very basics in educating himself on microaggressions and biases and bigotry and racism. If last night was not a clear indication that Andy covers for those Fox Force 4 ladies, I don't know what else would make it clear. The segment about Garcelle's book and this revelation that, oh, it wasn't Erica that threw the book in the trash. It was actually Rena that did it, but she took the picture and then sent it to a group chat that Garcelle's not on. And then Yaha had a little laugh about it. And then Erica had to take the heat because everyone thought she didn't recycle. And they all thought that that phone in the trash was Tom's, but it was actually Rena's. And Rena, oh my gosh, I hope you're recycling now. These microaggressions, this is what Garcelle was trying to say. Like, stop glazing over things and protecting these women and not holding them accountable. It's out of hand. So here's what Garcelle had to say to E! News about Andy's apology. Yeah, we spoke. Oh, absolutely. He called me before uh, he put out the apology. And, you know, he's great. I mean, there were a lot of things that were missed during the reunion, and it was really sad and unfortunate. But, um... I like Andy, and I think the fact that he stood up and said something meant a lot. And earlier today, Garcelle posted on her Twitter, guys, it's been a hell of a season. Hashtag RHOBH, I'm taking a mental break from it. When there's something important to talk about, I'll talk about it. I truly think this season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills has failed not only Garcelle, but its audience as a whole. I think they can do better. So hopefully, whenever we find out who's gonna be on next season, hopefully we'll have a couple changes here because I think we've progressed to a point where we don't need these willfully ignorant Gen Xers who are overly privileged. Obviously, there's a difference between privileged with your money and and us wanting to watch people that are able to spend and have money and people who don't understand their own privilege in the world. And I think a lot of these women just don't want to understand it. And it's really bringing the show down and it's not entertaining to watch them just feel sorry for themselves and nobody else. Erica Jane, Lisa Rinna, Kyle Richards, Dorit, talking to all of you. And I say that as a very young Gen Xer or very old millennial myself. So not saying all Gen Xers are like that or all millennials are like that, but we do have have this conversation about generations on RHOBH a lot. And it usually comes from Kyle or one of the other ladies who would be considered a Gen Xer putting down other generations and saying they're too sensitive while they cry and play the victim every chance they get on the show. So that's the latest news and tea about the bots and Andy Cohen's apology to Garcelle. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments. I love hearing from you all, even if we don't always agree. I love to see your opinions in the comment section. Also follow me on social media at Jillian Lunzer on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And you can also follow my special Bravo account at Married to Bravo on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.